Hi gang, we're in Nando's Soho this time. Uh, here again this time, we have Jewel, hello. And we have Chris, hello, of course. I'm back with my uh, Heineken. There are loads of facts we know about Soho. Too many to list, so I won't list them. This is Oxford Street. This is one of the busiest shopping streets in the United Kingdom. Uh, I, that I'd imagine from experience. This is, uh, I mean, Nando's we're going to is just around the corner. It shows how, how central it is. Here's Char. He's joining us for this one. He, he came to one a couple ago. Here he is. Hi, how's it going? We're off to Nando's. I'm only coming because it's around the corner from my office and I'm incredibly lazy. How long did it take you to get here from work? Uh, work is there, so three seconds. Is this your job? Yeah, this is my job actually. I'm one of the guys that stands outside. See the guy with the black ponytail, right? He's been there for about five weeks. And funnily enough, right, its persistence has paid off because whenever they throw out free perfume samples, it always seems to be him that gets them. So, you know. What do you call this? The shill? No, no, he's just persistent. He's a, <laughs> he's a customer who loves what they do, so he hangs around and his patience has been rewarded. Who are then? Number 55. Are. It's actually a quite a familiar Nando's. It's probably in the top five of Nando's I've been to before. Have you been here before? No, You must never. have been here before. I've been here before. Yeah, yeah no, my I'm, first time. I've never really had a problem with it though. Uh, a couple of times people I've been with have got pinky chicken in the middle, mm -hmm. but normally their service is quite quick. Yes, and it's always it, been a pretty good one yeah. uh, overall. Last time I came here, they didn't give me a stamp on my card and I asked them for it twice and they wouldn't give me a stamp. So I'm going to rob the plates and cutlery, get my money back. <laughs> we'll do that, but we're not going to review it based on these past occasions. No. If it's shit today, it'll get zero. If it's fabulous today, it'll get five. That's how it works. Because we're fair, we're nice, we go into Nando's. First impression of the draw. Uh, do you know what? I really like this. I don't know if it's just because I'm um, being sort of captivated and entranced by it being central London and slightly snazzier, especially compared to the last one we went to, because that one was shabby dabby. Um, this one's lovely. We've got kind of fishbowl lights. We've got the big cock. I love the big cock. We've got like a little bridge here. I really like this bridge. Um, the service area is really far away from the seating area. I really like that because I don't like when you're queuing and you feel like you're imposing on somebody else's meal. I really don't like that if you're nearby. So I think that's really nice. Oxford. Yeah, Oxford. Um, it's all really spaced out. I and it's look, it looks really clean as well. It looks really well kept. I like this. I hope the food is good. This looks really nice. So those of you who follow DJ Damien's uh, Flickr photos that are linked down below uh, to all of the Nando's with us, uh, with the pictures. We're about to do our picture, and we realise this is um, LV in Roman numerals, number 55. L V, which local fact. It's the local arcade, Las Vegas. It used to be good for Pump It Up, for uh, Para Para Paradise, and various Bumani and Dance games. It's now good for dealing drugs if you want a pack of wheat crunchies from the uh, vending machines, or if you want to shoot some games of pool with your uh, Asian gangster friends. So LV55 and the arcade. Look who's arrived, hello. Hi, Mark from Radio Nando is here. Happy to be here. We remember you. 55. The video is remember you. <laughs> James from Radio Nando. We nice remember to be back. you too. <laughs> well, last time you were with us, I think it was uh, Sutton or Ballon. 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 I went back there on Saturday night, and it was average. Yeah. Okay. I hope you've had a good look at the cock over there. It's spectacular. It's a pretty nice cock, isn't it, yeah, over the there? Yeah. 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 We've been talking about how, like the bridge part. And uh, I was downstairs and did a bit of filming I'm downstairs. I'm to see what the deck was like because last time we came just after the refurb and there wasn't much downstairs. Like I said, it could do with some artwork and stuff. So. Still worth okay. Okay. We can uh, we can go downstairs later we and we can, can later. review. We can talk about it. Yeah, we'll talk together. about it. I'll be like, this is the wall I criticised last time, <laughs> but it's okay now. Yeah. The same on the outside, the various uh, menus, but inside now they've changed the colour, this is more uh, multi-coloured, the Perry Scowl, it still goes from plain-ish to extra hot, so there's no difference there, uh, but now we're assured food standards, Nando's chickens are fresh, never frozen, and are hatched and reared in Britain, 
They have red tractor status. They meet such a strict set of assured standards. You could take them home to meet your mother, but that does, still doesn't actually mean anything. <laughs> and they've added this uh, gelato ice cream for people that like getting desserts in Nando's. Uh -huh. <laughs> Question of the day, what is your favorite starter at Nando's? James. <laughs> Hummus with curry drizzle. I didn't know Nando's did starters. <laughs> when they asked you, you know, starters are lids or anything like that. No? Oh, I just tuned that out. I, I don't listen to what they're saying. I bark my order at them and go away. <laughs> uh, I like the ratatouille. I've never ordered one. Uh, if chicken doesn't count, then it is the uh, hummus and the peri dressel and stuff. Because someone will say, have some. Yeah, I have, I have a small appetite. I can't eat starters. My starter is this. My favourite starter is the pink elephant rose wine. Hummus and peri dressel. Olives as well, if you're pushing it. But if you have to choose one, the hummus is a winner. Try it. Three votes for the hummus and peri peri drizzle. Clear winner. Yeah. It's a good one. So we've rate your Nando's gone for how long now? You must have a backlog of jokes. Have you got a joke of the month for us? Is it you that makes these jokes up? You should be fucking ashamed of yourself. It's not just me. Really? Kevin and Perry Perry go large. That was a good one. That was my friend. That was my friend. We accidentally did that twice by accident and it was. Yeah. We did have another one. I came up with the best one. Well, my favourite. Uh, all those Nando's chicken use because it's got a cold. Go on. Perinasal spray. <laughs> yeah, I remember that one too. That was cool. <laughs> Have you got a better it's joke? Have you got a better joke? Yeah, what was it? The place we went to. It's got to be a new joke. The life on me. No, that place was the joke for me. <laughs> no, it needs to be a verbal joke. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I've got one. Hey. What does Dr. Dre order at Nando's? What? Chicken wrap. Hey. hey. That's actually alright though, compared to, That's better than the Kevin of. Alright, this is the Nando's joke of the month, written by me, Damien. What does Dr. Dre order at Nando's? Nando's wrap. See you next month. Hey, sorry to disturb, but I've just noticed your t shirt. <laughs> I've got to say, I did choose it on purpose, knowing what was happening Let's take a look. at the moment. Um, two very good friends from university gave it to me as a birthday present last year. Oh. And I've been wearing it to Nando's ever since. <laughs> Not every time, but special occasions. Well, it's very apt for... Yeah. And I did have a good chat with the Nandoka about the t-shirt, and she said it was the first time she's ever seen a customer with a Nando's t-shirt. She gave you an extra stamp? And she gave me an extra stamp, although... <laughs> so last time you sat last over time here, sat there and I said they could do it with some art on the wall of the booths. Still no art. That's what I say. But I don't think that art was there yet. It was just after they did the redecor. Oh, I know that that definitely wasn't there. But I say it's looking nice now. It's very nice so, down here, isn't it? Yeah. Good ambiance. Yeah. I like, like these little lights as well. They're very round. <laughs> they've got <laughs> the. What I look for in a light. <laughs> they've got the red and black uh, colour scheme going on all the yeah. chairs. The water machine doesn't work upstairs, so you have to climb downstairs. At the yeah, it's out of order at the moment. Mm. It's good that you can order down here now. Or to do that. <laughs> yeah, you can order down here too. Anyway. That's good. You don't have to go up and hike all the way upstairs. Um, I also noticed that they have this. Um, Motif going on on the walls, uh, this uh, sort of um, boxes. boxes on the walls, and then it's also tiled on the floors uh, on the ground floor, and also on the walls on the first floor, on the ground floor as well. Look at this big table. Yeah, this is huge. Yeah, that is. How many people? Yeah. It's like a spinny thing. In this is like yeah. this party, like you used to have at McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, one of those lazy Susans. Yeah, so that's what they're called. Yeah. 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 This is a big one actually. If you're in that corner, trying to speak to that person. Yeah, that's not very like. Staff probably sleep on this, I would if I was. <laughs> yeah, it's very nice down here, isn't it? Hmm. And the toilets are down here. Men's over there, women's just over here. I think a solid 4.5 out of 5 for the decor down here. 
Four and a half down here. Yes. And yeah, the, the missing tiles on that thing, it's kind of weird. You, you look at it first time and you think, someone's stolen it or, they, or someone's broke it off. But <laughs> Maybe it they have. Maybe they have, <laughs> Maybe yeah. They have. We can't rule that out. <laughs> but yeah, that's what it looks like. But it's okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, this is the second time today I've been into this toilet and I think it's safe to say it's very different to any Nando's toilet I've ever been in. It's like a club. I feel like I'm gone I feel like I've gone clubbing and I'm going to the toilet in a club. We have the Nando's music. But it's very, very dark compared to a normal Nando's. We got black tiles, the toilets are very kind of UV, got the spotlighting, um, nice clean things. We got the very posh new hand dryers. So it's actually nicer than your usual Nando's toilet. The only thing is, yeah, it's not my imagination. It smells like a rabbit touch. Apart from that, I'd give it five. I can't give it five. It's not five. It smells weird. Everything else is great. We're gonna give it four flushes. And we're clubbing in Nando's. Yeah. 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 See you next time. Nando's number 55 in Soho, rating on Nando's. LV. 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 Chris. LV. Uh, yeah, it was pretty good. I mean, uh, as before, they were quick, good service. The, the only things I can fault them for are not having water and ice upstairs, and that they didn't say bye to us when we left. So, I mean, it, it, it didn't excel, but it was really good. Four and a half cocks. Four and a half. First time I've given that. I, I really enjoyed it. Halves, the food was all right. The food was actually, I, I was slightly disappointed with it. It wasn't terrible, but uh, it wasn't fantastic either. I'm gonna give it four, four just for the food, but everything else was really good. Very enthusiastic four. It was. Yeah. Yeah. Four. It was the rest shit. of it was really good. Uh, I love the decor, and it's a really nice place, and uh, great staff, everything. Um, I have nothing to complain about. It was, food was nice, staff were polite, food didn't take a long time to come out, the restaurant was nice. Uh, I'm gonna give it a five. Five cups. I really liked it. The food was really good. They they went and did that thing again where they put spice on my pineapple for some random reason. So I have to remove half a cock for that. It <laughs> so sounds you're not dreaming this. no no no. I'm not dreaming this. You could see it. I'm, I'm sure on the photo of my food you will see that there is like a shaky shaky job gone on top of my pineapple. So I wasn't happy about that. And they didn't say goodbye. But I'm not going to take a half of them for that. No no. The chicken was lovely. I I really liked this restaurant as a restaurant. I'm gonna give. Four and a half because we're allowed to do half cocks today and I don't want to give them a four because other things that have gotten a four haven't matched up to this so four and a half. Yeah I give the food a three, the sides weren't that fantastic. The chicken was good though, big breast, quite a bit of sauce. Can't um, go wrong with a big breast. No exactly. <laughs> yeah the chips were a little bit something for everyone. Lots of curry though. And the rice, there wasn't very much of it. Nice and bread. the garlic bread nice didn't have that much garlic yeah, butter on it, and it was a bit cold. Um, decor good, yeah. So I guess overall, four. Yeah, I'd like to echo what Chris said. Food was very good. Staff very friendly when we went in, didn't say bye, but some people did have that honour. My food was very good. Chicken, lots of sauce, big portion of chips, loomy, great as usual. Overall, I think that's a four. Okay. <laughs> can I rate it down because there's loads of police in it now? Can I give it yeah. zero? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck the police. <laughs> well, I'm safe. <laughs> uh, next time we are at um, Cambridge. 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 Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, I won't be there, but uh, Chris will, Jewel will, other people. I don't Char know. might be if Char you might. can be bothered to get out of bed for it. See you there. Hope you enjoyed this one. And um, LV. See you. LV, dudes. Keep it LV. Bye. 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 <laughs>